I built this vise six years ago as a prototype, and there's a lot of things I hate about it, and I'm gonna show you how I fixed it on the production version. This is the new Fireball 208 Blacksmith Floor Vise, and I'm gonna talk about all the changes that I've learned and discovered with this prototype that didn't make it into the production version. First thing you're gonna notice is that we kind of left this area open in here, and this is a missed opportunity to hold on to larger diameters. So on the production version, the 208, we cast in these big gripper jaws and the V in the frame allow you to grip onto a hydraulic cylinder without damaging it and worrying about it slipping. For this demonstration I don't have a hydraulic cylinder so I'm going to use this one instead just to showcase something large and round getting held in those jaws. So as you can see if you wanted to hold a large cylinder without it worrying about twisting or folding this is probably the best place to do it. So you can work on a hydraulic cylinder, your fittings, this is a nice feature of this vise. The other problem that I didn't like about the prototype is these things, these ribs right here, constantly tripping on them. They look cool, but they suck. So as you can see on the production version, we do not have those kickers. Do you really need to bolt this thing down? Absolutely not. This thing has enough gravity to stay where you put it, but I thought I'd add the bolt holes in here just in case. So other things that I noticed with this vise is that I went for maximum clamping force. So I used a one inch threaded rod. So you're probably wondering why this screw isn't something big and honky, like four inches in diameter. And the simple answer to that is safety. If we put a big giant three or four inch screw in here that won't bend or break, all that does is transfer energy into something else that could be dangerous. Any good design has a simple failure point. All of these components in here are replaceable. We'll sell all that stuff. If there were to be some excessive force in the jaws, I'd rather have the screw bend rather than somebody to get physically injured and force. The smaller the diameter of the screw, the more force the jaws actually see. For the production version, we went up to a half inch diameter larger. So we're at an inch and a half now, and this rod is really stout. And as you can see, it has a really nice motion. This is a left-handed thread, so that when you turn it right, the jaw goes forward. And if you have not seen the way this works before, is this jaw is floating, see that? So what this allows you to do is whatever attachment is on the back side here, whether it be a hydraulic cylinder. Once this takes over, it just lifts off the screw and this pushes in here, but it can slide off of it. This is so that it doesn't pull on and jerk the threads off. And because the way we've designed it, that this dynamic jaw is weighted, which means it wants to go backwards just because of gravity, that it's always riding on the backside of the thread. So this is like a precision instrument. So we can hold something really small with this vise and really precise and have a lot of control. And that's not going anywhere, but if we want to, we can really squeeze it. That's a lot of precision for such a big vise. 